Hi there, it's Edith, and today I would like to bring with you my menu plan for February for just the first two weeks. Um, well, actually, today is the 7th, so I guess the first week is gone, but I'm going to plan for the next two weeks. Um, now, when I meal plan, I like to uh, go through my fridge especially and look at to see if there's any vegetables or any perishables that I need to use up and then incorporate those into my meal. Um, when it was the first of the year, I uh, wanted to set some goals for myself and one of the goals was to eat more vegetables. And so I'm really striving to plan our menus and to eat more vegetables with all of my meals. And then another thing, my husband um, has decided he wanted, wanted to lose a little bit of weight and eat more protein and um, less carbs. And so the meals I'm planning are to help us both to achieve those goals that we're working towards. And so when I'm plan my meals, I have to get kind of creative to think of what we're going to have to accomplish those goals. And so what I've done is I've pulled out my cookbooks and really thought about the things that we might really enjoy that would be less carbs and more vegetables. And so that's kind of my thought process for the next couple weeks. Now, uh, we're empty nesters, my husband and I, and so what we do is we we fix a meal for one day and eat the leftovers the next day and uh, send, send uh, some leftovers for my husband's lunch if he wants that, if he's at work, and then whatever's left over after that we just put in the freezer so that when my husband's at work and I'm home alone or he's out of town, I can just pull out something and eat it. Or if we have a day where we're home, we can just pull out like TV dinners. And so that's our plan. Um, so let's get into this, what I've decided to do. Um, the first thing, the first meal I've decided to have is red beans and rice. We love to have kidney beans with, um, sausage and vegetables and some jalapeno all cooked up and I'm going to serve it with brown rice and he'll have uh, just a little bit of brown rice to eat with it. He'll like it even without the brown rice. So that's the first meal that I want to cook and then <clears throat> I wanted to have leftovers thinking that this was Tuesday but the Tuesday's over here, so I kind of put it in the wrong place. But we'll have leftover red beans and rice on Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, we're going to have a crock pot lasagna with wheat noodles. Uh, again, he'll just have a few of the noodles and, and uh, a little bit and pull the rest out. But um, yeah, this will be good to use up a lot of the cheese, I have a lot of cheese, and so I can use up the cheese making the lasagna, and um, then we'll have the leftover lasagna on Thursday. So that will be a good meal. On Friday, my husband requested shrimp and grits. Now I've never made shrimp and grits before. I, I love them, they're delicious. My son knows how to make them, but he lives out of town. And so he can't help me, but I will um, figure out how. I don't think it'll be hard. I just need to find a recipe that I just really think looks good. And so I've I've got the stuff for shrimp and grits, and then we'll eat the leftovers on Saturday. Then on Sunday we're going to have a stir fry. He likes beef. I like chicken, so I'll just make a little bit of each. And um, you notice on other I've put um, leftover stir-fry I know this is an extra day so we'll either send it to my with my husband to work uh, for lunch or else I will put it in the freezer and save this for another date also 
So, and then we'll go back up here for the next week. And I've planned to have a cauliflower casserole with leftovers on the next day. And this casserole is uh, just some cook, cut up cauliflower and some other vegetables, some um, onion and uh, whatever you have in your fridge, you, you really can put in this casserole. So be creative and think about what you would like to eat. And then I like to add it with a little bit of um, kielbasa. Or you could cook some bacon or some sausage or chicken or whatever you like to have with it. You cook it up with a little bit of extra sauce in the pan. You want to have a few drippings and drip it over the vegetables and then add cheese to it and cook it in the oven. And it's just a delicious vegetable with meat uh, casserole that we like to have. And so this will be an easy dinner for, for us with leftovers for a couple days. And then the last meal that we have planned is a breakfast casserole. And we'll either eat this, we'll probably eat it for dinner and for a couple days and then save the leftovers for breakfast. Um, and it's just your typical breakfast casserole with some bacon or sausage or kielbasa or ham. I may put some ham in it. I have some ham. And then, um, and you could even use multiple meats if you like. Excuse me. I like to put hash browns in the bottom of the pan, dehydrated ones, with some butter so that they make a little crust in the pan. And then you put your meats and your vegetables, like uh, we'll want some jalapenos in ours and some onion and whatever you like in your breakfast casseroles for vegetables. And then we will add some um, egg mixture on top with cheese and melt it all in the, and cook it in the oven for a little while. And it makes a really delicious breakfast casserole that we can have for a couple meals and then have some leftover for breakfast. And so that gives us 12 meals. And then a couple nights, we will probably go out to dinner, maybe just one night, and then have leftovers the next day. Usually when we go out for a meal, we uh, can't eat it all, and we bring the rest home and eat it for another meal. And so that's kind of the plan for what we're going, going to have for meals for dinner for the next two weeks. Then after I plan my meals, I like to come over here and plan my grocery list. And uh, I I first see what we have, making sure that I have a plan that I'm going to use up all those leftover vegetables and ingredients in my refrigerator. And then I make up a list of the things that I would like to purchase. And um, I'm a disabled person and I can't grocery shop very easily. It's really difficult for me. And so what I do is I use the Smith's Kroger Click It program where you can go order your groceries online and then just go to the store and they bring them out to you. And so I do that. I have my husband pick them up and then we're set for the couple weeks. And then uh, I do it again. And so these are the groceries that we're getting this week. These aren't all the groceries, but these are the um, groceries for my meals. Then I add everything else that we might need for the next two weeks to the grocery list also. So anyway, that's how I plan my groceries and uh, my meals for the next two weeks. I love this plan because I never have to wonder or worry what we're going to have for dinner. I can look at my meal plan. If I decide I want to have breakfast casserole roll instead of grits and sh shrimp and grits right here, I can switch them around. I don't have to do them on these actual days, but I actually have a plan so I can take my meat out the night before out of the freezer and uh, put it in the fridge to thaw and get make sure I have all of the ingredients 
And then the next day I can just prepare the meal and have a meal for us for a couple days. And so it works out really well. And so uh, if I did not have a plan, I... I don't like that feeling of not knowing what we're going to eat and it's almost dinner time and we're hungry and we have nothing in the house to eat. I like to be organized and this helps me to figure out what I'm going to have and to be organized for the next two weeks for my meals. So uh, this, as you can see, this insert is set up so that you can write your groceries but I've decided I wanted to make the pages last a lot longer because <laughs> I'm a miser I like to um, try to conserve how much uh, things cost if things are expensive these the inserts are expensive and I don't like to be wasteful with the paper and stuff and so I just write small and put more put two ingredients on a line instead of one and uh, I added some little circles to mark them off when that when I get them and uh, I on, on this side I've put little stars underneath so when I come back to plan again I can put two more meals I think I should be able to do that get six meals on each in a uh, little square and so that's a month and a half well, let's see. Yeah, two weeks, four weeks. That's six weeks worth of meals on one page. And so that's another idea you might want to try um, with your planner, whatever whatever you're, you use for a meal plan. You might could consolidate your pages. And I like to do that so I don't have to spend so much and so that I can conserve. Just another little tip for me. Anyway, that's how I plan my, my menu. I might bring you along for some of these dishes if you'd like to see anything that I'm going to cook this week. If you'd like to see, just leave a comment below and I'll try to make a, um, a video and post it for you. So anyway, I hope this helps you and that you can get some ideas from how I meal plan and I'll just talk to you again soon. Have a great day and if you like this, um, and if you want, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel.